In this video, we'll see how to create multiple drop-down lists in Excel, both with and without XLOOKUP. A multiple drop-down list is where one drop-down depends on the selection from another. For example, if you pick a category, the next drop-down will show only the related subcategories. Then, choosing a subcategory will filter the product list to show items only from that subcategory. At the end, I'll share a bonus trick. I'll show you how to highlight any errors if a wrong subcategory or product is selected. Let's begin. Before we start, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for notification. First, let's create multiple dropdown using XLOOKUP function. We're going to create multiple dropdown lists here. When I select a category, only the corresponding subcategories for that category should appear here. Then, the products for the selected subcategory should come up here. Here's the data we'll use, which includes different categories, subcategories, and product names. First, let's create the drop-down list for the category. Select the cells where you want the drop-down. Then go to the Data tab, click on Data Validation. Choose List, and in the Source field, select the cells containing the category names. Click OK, and your drop-down list will appear. Our first-level drop-down list is now ready. Drag this in cells below. Now, let's create the second-level drop-down. Select the cell where you want the subcategory drop-down. We want only the subcategories related to the selected category to appear here. Select this cell. Click on Data Validation. Choose List, and in the Source field, write is equal to XLOOKUP. Now open parentheses. For the lookup value, select the category cell. Remove the absolute reference so the cell reference will change when dragging the formula down. For the lookup array, select the range of category cells. For the return array, select the entire data range that includes subcategories. Click OK, and your subcategory dropdown will show only the options relevant to the selected category. If we change the category to Furniture, the subcategory options will update accordingly. Now, let's create the third level dropdown, similar to how we created the second level. Select the cell where you want the product dropdown to appear. Click on Data Validation and choose List. And in the Source field, Write is equal to XLOOKUP. Now open parentheses. For the lookup value, select the subcategory cell, make sure to remove the absolute reference so the cell reference adjusts when dragging the formula. For the lookup array, select the range of subcategory cells from this data set. For the return array, select the range that includes the product names corresponding to the subcategories. Click OK, and the product dropdown will show options only for the selected subcategory. If you change the subcategory, the product options will update accordingly. Currently, XLOOKUP is available in Excel 2021 and Excel 365. If you're using Excel 2019 or earlier, follow this alternative method to create a multi-level drop-down list. Our second method involves creating a multi-level drop-down list without using XLOOKUP while also making it dynamic. This way, if you add new categories or subcategories, they will automatically be included in our drop-down lists. First, convert both data ranges into tables. Select this data, press Ctrl plus T, My Data Has Headers, and click OK. Now, format the table to match its original style. And remove Filter button. Convert the second data range also into a table. Now, both data ranges are formatted as tables, so let's move to our next step. That is define named range for each list. But, remember that the defined names for the named ranges and the names used in the drop-down lists must match exactly. Now, if we try to define a name for the list kids furniture, it will not be accepted because range names cannot contain spaces. To replace spaces with underscores, select the data. Press Ctrl plus H to open the Find and Replace dialog. In the Find What, write space. 
and in the replace with right underscore and click on replace all. This has replaced all spaces with underscore. Now, let's define names for the ranges. Select this data, go to Formula tab, click on Create from Selection, uncheck the left column option, and click OK. This will create named ranges based on the data in your selected range. Repeat the same steps for the subcategory ranges. First, let's create the drop down list for the category. Select the cells where you want the drop down. Then go to the Data tab, click on Data Validation. Choose List, and in the Source field, select the cells containing the category names. Click OK, and your drop down list will appear. Our first level drop down list is now ready. Drag this in cells below. Now, select the cell where we want to create drop down list. Go to Data tab, click on Data Validation, select List, and in Source field, write is equals to, indirect, open parentheses, and select this cell. Remove absolute reference, and click OK. Repeat the same step for product column. And our multi-level drop-down list is ready. As mentioned earlier, we want to make this dynamic so that any new data added will automatically be updated in the drop-down lists. At the end, let's look at a bonus trick. If changing the category doesn't update the subcategory drop-down or shows an error, we might make mistake of not selecting the correct option. To address this, we can use conditional formatting to highlight errors. Select the cells, go to Home, click on Conditional Formatting. Click on New Rule. Select this option, and write, is equal to count ifs. Open parentheses, now write indirect, open parentheses, select this cell. Close parentheses. Now comma, select this cell. Close parentheses. Is equal to zero, now format this cell. Click Format. Apply a strike through. And change the font color to indicate an error. And press OK. Follow the same steps to apply conditional formatting to the product column to ensure the correct product is selected based on the subcategory. Now, if you change the category and the subcategory remains incorrect, the cell will be formatted to alert you, helping you avoid mistakes. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please leave your feedback in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.